What's up guys? I know it's a little bit late actually. You don't even know that. I, I didn't even really need to say that. It's 3.30. I'm just now starting the vlog at 3.30. I I apologize. Jordan apologizes. I've literally just been sitting on the pewter. Sitting on the pewter. Sitting on the pewter working all day. Working on my business. On the interesting, fun, technical side. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. Basically, once you file for an LLC, it takes like six to eight business days, but there's like a process of filing for an LLC and uh, that and looking at trademarks to make sure that the name that I'm gonna go with is not trademarked. So I've just been looking at USPTO, uh, trademark stuff. Yeah, it's, it's been a real fun day. You're not missing anything. You have not missed any. Uh, I don't even think I have a whole scoop of- This is like barely a whole scoop. I'm out of freaking ghost CG and they never are gonna make it again. What am I gonna do? Next thing we're gonna do is spray some- I can't believe it's not butter spray inside my pre- I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna do that. I know, I had you. I had you. I totally had you. Don't even lie. I am gonna put like a quarter scoop of this b -Nox pre-workout in here because I don't think there's enough pre-workout in here for Jordan today. I don't want to die or anything, but I do want to get a massive pump in my quadriceps and uh, I got a lot of, oh shit. I just spilled that herbivore creatine powder. No bull. I love it. It's great. It's pure. It's, it is, it's good. It's good creatine. It's good creatine. Thank you, no bull. Thank you. If you love me, Send me more sometime. I'll send you hugs. Possibly send you people that might buy your product. I'm, I, I was not paid to do that. What's going on guys? It's been a while since I've done a commentary. So watch me do my leg workout and listen to me talk about how I've screwed up so bad. Okay, what happened was, <laughs> what happened was famous last words, right? Planned my depletion a little off. So the way it was supposed to go was three to four days of depletion and then straight into carb up days. But I planned it about two days off. My depletion should have actually started like yesterday or the day before yesterday, but that was the fourth day of depleting. So yesterday, after all day went by and I was like, I don't know what to do now because I'm so depleted right now, I can't even sleep or think or anything. I would not have been able to sleep last night like at all. I went ahead and indulged a little bit. Now what I'm gonna have to do is do a freaking redepletion, which means today I'll be eating very very little probably like less than 50 carbs. I haven't even eaten yet It's it's like 325 and I haven't eaten anything yet. I've had a coffee and tea With fat-free low sugar creamer and stevia for sweetener like that's literally all I've eaten all day that and I've had a gallon of water Currently on my second gallon of water doing a two gallon water run through today and tomorrow to kind of clear my system I got to get this water weight off. I messed up. I planned things wrong I executed the wrong way. My, my plan, it just, it didn't work out. I gotta be honest with you guys, I woke up today and I, I almost spiraled into like a deep depression because I was like, I, I screwed up. I screwed up on my planning and now I'm not gonna be able to carve up the way that I meant to originally and and I don't look good, I don't feel good. I was just in a really bad place this morning. I don't wanna lie to you guys. I wasn't sure what to do, I was really frustrated, like I wanted to go in the corner and cry. You know, some people wouldn't tell you guys these things. Some people would keep this from you and say, ah, everything I do is perfect. I, I want you to believe that like I never make mistakes or I never plan things wrong or I never, I never mess up. And that's not true, guys, that's not true. This has been a successful cut for the most part. Things happen. You make mistakes. You plan things wrong. It happens. And I'm not going to deny that I made a mistake and I'm taking responsibility for it. And now I am doing a redepletion, you know, the way I originally should have in the first place. So what that, like I said, is going to consist of is hitting very low calories today, low carbs, and doing a lot of cardio. And then tomorrow we'll see what I look like and we'll either kind of go back up a little bit or do a, a second depletion day and, and my carb up will only be like one day. It's not perfect, but I'm not doing a show. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't even know if I should have done a depletion in the first place anyways. That's a little bit extreme for someone that's not even doing a show. I wouldn't recommend it. Here's the thing guys, it's easy to fall. It really is easy to fall. The problem is getting back up. That's where most people just don't make it. They, they take too long to get back up 
and times pass and they get lost and they quit and then they want to start back a couple months later and it's a vicious cycle so when something happens things don't go as planned you, you screw up with your planning it's gonna suck you're gonna feel sad you're gonna feel like crying you're gonna feel like giving up you're gonna feel like a piece of shit and you're gonna have that moment there's no getting around it there's just absolutely no getting around it if you fucked up you fucked up like there's no way of getting around it but the difference between someone that quits and someone that doesn't quit is seeing that all right i messed up i messed up my planning uh, I, depleted, I depleted way too early and then because of that i was starving to death could not sleep did not sleep for like three days so i had to indulge a little bit to to get some sleep and so now i'm gonna have to do a, a second depletion which <laughs> isn't ideal and kind of sucks but it's the best option that I have right now and I'm still gonna bring my best physique for the end of summer shredding and I've still put a lot of hard work into this and I'm not cutting into that and saying that I didn't or that I made this big mistake that screwed me up I'm saying that things aren't always gonna go as planned you're going to make mistakes we all make mistakes everybody makes mistakes you may not see them for that but the difference between people like that and people that you don't know of is they got back up over and over and over again, whether the mistake was their fault or just something happened to screw up their plans. They changed and adapted and got back up again and again and again and did it again and that's exactly what I'm trying to instill in you guys and what I'm doing right here and what I'm telling you guys about. Today and tomorrow is my comeback story. It's all about me making the mistake of of cutting too early and then carving up too early. I'm so full right now that I have spilled over because I was starving so much last night that I ate a lot of carbs. I want to tell you guys, I want you guys to know that just because you make mistakes sometimes, those mistakes don't make you. They don't define who you are. Get back up, do it again, finish the task, and move forward. Do it with me. We can do this together, guys. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You weren't the first, and you won't be the last. But if you're watching this video right now, I'm telling you, fuck what anybody thinks. Get back up. There's nothing wrong with making mistakes. It's part of the process. There's nothing wrong with failing. Small failures is part of the overall big win. I'm telling you guys, this right now, this is my this is my fall down and my get back up story for you guys. I just want you to know. I didn't quit on me. I never quit on anybody. And I don't want you guys to quit on yourself or anybody else. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for your support. And I will see you guys on the next video. All love. Comment if you have any questions or concerns. Please leave a like. It greatly motivates me to keep making videos, even when times are tough. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I will see you on the next video.